Hey, welcome back Design Squad. And in this video, we're gonna revisit my playlist on design systems. And if you're new to this, go back a notch, visit the actual how design system is done videos from before. Or if you're continuing, you're in the right place. To make a design system, to create it in Sketch, Figma, or any other tool, and then pass it to, let's say, to a component engineering like React, is easy, dead easy. The most important bit, however, and the hardest bit is the maintenance. And now in this video, I'm going to tell you a few bits from my personal experience, as well as what I see out there and why people struggle with the things which we shouldn't struggle with. The two key components of making it a living document is people and process. It's that simple. It's really about having the right people in place and them wearing the right hats as well as doing the right things and doing it in the right order. And so to cover the people aspect, you need someone who would wear certain hats. So for example, an owner, someone has to be responsible for design system. And it doesn't mean that you have a manager for design system. If your team is not big enough, if your product is not big enough, it doesn't make sense to add a new role just to manage the design system. However, someone can spend, let's say 20% of their time or 50% of the time in your team managing the design system. And it should be looked as, you know, as a benefit at someone that people actually strive to do. Someone has to own it. Other hats which are essential is, let's say, a reviewer hat. It could be the same person, by the way. It could be that one owns and one reviews. So if it's just a team of five and you're working with just one enterprise system, it makes sense for one person to review roll out the changes, address, give feedback, things of that nature. Or one hat which stands out is evangelist hat. You know, ideally evangelism should be done by, let's say, a product manager or a designer who is very business savvy or knows the cause benefit of a design system. I told you in a previous video how, you know, waffling around what makes the button great or how having a design system with 20 different button times, which allows you to easier roll out different features, might not make sense for the business because that's again how the sausage is made and people care about benefits and the outcomes rather than how it is done in a nitty gritty detail. And so someone who separates themselves a little bit from how it's made, a design owner or reviewer, because they are not really involved in crafting those different bits or if they are, they have to also put another hat to separate themselves a little bit in a good way. So they have a breathing space to reflect and actually phrase it right to the business. So your design system is used because if you make it once and you forget about it, chances are someone is gonna forget to use it. And as people change, it's just gonna collect dust and be forgotten. And so it's essential to roll out those hats and those roles as soon as you think about design system. If you cover the people, and you have people who are responsible for those things, you now need to define exactly what they're responsible for. So depending on the size of your design system, the organizational needs, how you work with developers, all these few bits have to be defined. You might need to produce a wiki, a documentation on, let's say, a Notion or Jira or any other software which allows let's say engineers or new designers or old designers or product people or business people to quickly jump in and understand what your design system is about. And so I would advise you to make a wiki as soon as you can. You can start sketching it out in a Word document quickly and just noting down the benefits, the scope of a design system, the application bits, who's responsible for that, covering the people's bit, but as well as the specific of how the handovers, let's say, happen. I usually include all those bits in the design system itself. So let's say if I would produce a sketch design system, I would add another page saying how to or saying something like uh, wiki info and then making artboard for each of these elements so that whoever picks up the sketch document for library or a Figma document, whatever it is, you know, it doesn't really matter about technical aspects. They know exactly what where you're coming from and what you are trying to achieve. How do you hand over your features to developers and who's maintaining it? You might use Zeppelin, you might use, I don't know, Abstract, you might just use components and then work alongside developers sitting next to them, crafting those components in an atomic design way so that it's proper and then rolling out into, let's say, your design system once you user test it. 
but you need to outline that process in a very high level from let's say original idea of a feature to the researched wireframing, defining all those features, to user testing, to rolling out, to giving it to actual developers, how it's done. So I would go step by step, maybe even in a linear way, just defining those different pillars and telling exactly what does happen where. And you don't have to overkill it. You know, it might sound like, oh, now I have to produce almost like a spec, a schema, a document. Ideally you should, but it also depends on your time, the scope, how many people are involved. Is it just five people? Is it 20 people? It's a 200 people who are gonna be interacting with your design system. The measures are gonna be different, but you, if you are the owner of a design system, if you are wearing that hat, should take responsibility to define those things. You're gonna be a mastermind and someone has to be a mastermind. And to me, ideally, that's the owner. I just noticed a few on LinkedIn where companies are reaching out to designers asking if they would want to come in and make a design system happen, if they would want to come in and manage the design system. And I received a couple of requests myself. However, I know how much time it takes. I know what sort of commitment the company has to make and that it's cost ineffective at first. And so it's really hard to justify because if the people say, I just want design system, they don't really know how much time it's gonna take. It's not easy, but you need to cover people and process. In the end, it runs like a well-oiled machine. And that's what you want if you wanna make the design respected and make it mature. And so I hope it's useful. If so, give a like, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, share it with your friends. If you have any specific questions, leave them down below. I'm gonna be happy to answer them. And as per usual, I'll see you next time.